My house is haunted. It's like Halloween every day. They're screaming and shouting. And even at 37 years old, before I go to bed, I check underneath my bed for monsters, for bad guys, for serial killers. Don't look under the bed. There's monsters under the bed. Don't look under the bed. There's bad guys under the bed. And they want to kill you. Do, do, do. They want to kill you. Do, do, do. So one night, before I go to sleep, I peer under my bed, and I notice there's a deranged man in a mask, wielding a chainsaw. I begin to run. I'm like, oh my god, I'm getting chased by a man with a chainsaw. There's a serial killer under my bed. Don't look under the bed. There's monsters under the bed. Don't look under the bed. There's bad guys under the bed, and they want to kill you. Do, do, do. They want to kill you. Do, do, do. They're going to emerge in the middle of the night and murder me in my sleep. They're sadistic monsters. According to my psychiatrist, though, it's really my home environment that's the monster under the bed. The screaming, the shouting, the walking on eggshells. My home is not home. My home is a war zone. I feel unsafe, unprotected. And in order to feel secure before I go to bed, I look under the bed and hope there's no serial killers there. Hope there's no torturers there. Hope there's no abusers there. Don't look under the bed. There's monsters under the bed. Don't look under the bed. There's bad guys under the bed. And they want to kill you. Do, do, do. They want to scare you. Do, do, do. They want to abuse you. Do, do, do. They want to torture you.